Well, I brought Rocky's cage into the tent there because it kept raining and I don't want his blanket to get wet. But it stopped now, at least temporarily. And he was looking for his cage. He was out here standing here looking like, where did it go? So I brought it back out for him and he's pretty happy now. He's got his cage back outside where he can have a lay down if he wants to on his blanket. Hey, I like to have that out for him sometimes because it gets him used to it too. And then if I have to take him anywhere in the truck, at least he's it's a, it's a familiar thing. So it'd be more comfortable for him. That worked out pretty well when I had to take him to the vaccination clinic to get his rabies shot it there a month or so ago. So yeah, that's, that's it. That, that's, what, uh, that's the purpose of it. Anyway, it gives him a nice secure place there. He can have a nap in there and a hawk can't swoop down and get him. But he can still be in the sun if he needs to be. Oh, I see the hawk. There's the hawk over there, actually. It's back, the bugger. So I can see, um, I, so he, he, he can, he, if, when, when it is warm and sunny out, which doesn't happen very often, he can, uh, hey you, hi, hi, he can, um, yeah, he, he wants to get up on me here, I think, but he's not able to because I'm too far away. I'll have to move over, I guess, eh? Will I move over? I'll move the chair over here, I will. Oh my goodness, Rocky. It's crazy what goes on in this world, I'll tell you. We're lucky that we're just here at Camp Crazy and kind of cloistered away from everything, eh? We are. I get that I pretty much know what he wants, you know. He communicates pretty well, and, and I listen to him. You have to listen to an animal in a different way when you listen to a person, obviously. But if you're observant... And you see what the animal is doing. You can kind of figure out what the animal wants. And in Rocky's case, he wanted his cage back out here. And then he wanted to come and sit on my lap. <coughs> so I was able to accommodate him in those two desires. I was, yes. Because I pay attention to what Rocky's doing. I do. Hey, you. <laughs> anyway. He's my good friend, you know, he's my best friend, so I like to, I like to do things that, um, that make him happy. I do. Yes. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, he makes me very happy, too, so there is that. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you later. Hey, what do you think, Rocky? Will we see them later? Yeah. Oh, I did have a productive day. I got the big buddy heater was broken. I got it working again. Uh, there was a blocked line in, in it that I had to clean out, and uh, I got the screen door off the camper. Now I just have to make a rubber a sweeper kind of a thing out of a piece of carpeting, so out of a you know rubber back carpeting or whatever to to seal the door up properly at the top where it doesn't quite come together proper yet yeah anymore yeah okay bye for now